The movie is called I Sing a Song of Spiders. <laughs> Willem Dafoe is the lead singer in the most popular high school band called The Awesome Band. All the high school 17-year-old girls are in love with this hot, young, science major stud who is also well good at football. He is wow. in the band with Steve Buscemi oh. <laughs> on, on lead guitar. Oh, no. Gary Oldman on rhythm. Oh. Gary Boosie on bass. I knew it. I knew it. And Tyler Perry as Medea on drums. <laughs> And they are, are they popular with high schoolers or they're all in a high they're, school? They're high school students, obviously. Okay. They're, they are right. acting, Jonathan. They are acting. I see. Okay. The trouble is, one day, <laughs> Willem Dafoe, while doing science at school, is bitten by a radioactive spider. Whoa. Oh, shit. Like Spider-Man? That's what he said. The spider bites him and he goes, Ah, oh, it's like Spider-Man! <laughs> and he shakes it off, right? He's fine, Jonathan. He's not walking up walls. He's not accidentally shooting spunk out of his hands. Although that would be a good idea for a film. But, one mm. day, where they get their first big gig at the local bar, in Sunnydale. This is a crossover in the, Whoa. the Buffyverse. It's in the Buffyverse, which Very I always right. yeah. It's like Prometheus. It's a it's a an indirect prequel to Buffy the Vampire mm. Slayer. Okay. <laughs> Willem Dafoe opens his mouth to sing. They're gonna do a cover of Venga Boys Boom 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 I'll <laughs> You in My Room. Which is like what all the kids are listening to. He opens his mouth to sing. And dozens and dozens of spiders fly out of his mouth. Oh, wow. And they just fly into people's faces. Oh. And they're breathing in and they make that noise. Just... <laughs> oh, yeah, I felt just it. Stopping. Oh, well, Willem Dafoe is just going... <laughs> and the spiders are just coming out and Steve Buscemi is like, what the fuck? And, and Medea is like, oh my god, I can't believe what you're doing with those spiders, you prick! <laughs> Tyler Perry couldn't do that voice if you paid him a trillion dollars. He is not talented enough to... <laughs> but anyway, I'm sorry. That was Continue. a perfect Medea voice. <laughs> that was the least racist Medea voice I can do. <laughs> yeah, Tyler yeah. Perry does two voices, white and black. Yeah. And both in genuine sounding. Anyway. So sorry. pure chaos. Yes. But Willem Dafoe realises he has a great gift. He can sing spiders. <laughs> he can talk. That's not a great gift. <laughs> he can talk just normally. But every time he tries to sing with his high school band called The Best Band. I thought it was awesome, man. The awesome best band. Yes, them. He's <laughs> Yes, them. That is the name of the band. Yes, them. <laughs> Spiders fly out of his mouth. Loads of them! Jonathan. Are they poisonous? What kind of spiders? Just, Are they just, spiders? Are they... They're just regular type. And <laughs> 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 Gary Boosie at one point <laughs> says, Hey, hey. <laughs> Willem Dafoe, are those spiders poisonous or not? Eey, guy, cool. And Willem Dafoe goes, No, they're just regular type! <laughs> and... The moral of this this film, of course, is with great power comes great trying to work out how to use the power of singing spiders. And that's the crux of the film. That's the internal conflict, is Willem Dafoe, like, I've got this awesome gift. It's not I, awesome. I can sing spiders, but I don't know how. I can, <laughs> I can use this power for good. And is, they, is the band still popular, or, or do people still see them live, even though they know? Well, they, well, this is another big thing: is they're gearing up for Battle of the Bands. Oh, right. And they're going to go up against um, the evil band called the Evil Band. Okay. Which is led by Danny DeVito. <laughs> That's Danny DeVito, Weird Al Yankovic, uh, and Brendan Fraser. The three-man band, yeah. Three-man, the evil band. <laughs> 
who play on bat shaped guitars. <laughs> so it's like that you know that they are. So anyway, Willem Dafoe, you know, he's he's he realizes he's got this this blessing. And he's confiding in his girlfriend, played by television's iCarly. Oh, and what? What? <laughs> she, she's like 17, right? I don't know or Something care. Like that. Yeah, she's, it's, she's it's under this, 20. Jonathan, sure. this mm-hmm. is art. <laughs> some, actors, some actors play down, some actors play up. Okay. It, it just so happens that iCarly is, is you know... She is a high schooler. She plays a high schooler on TV. It makes sense she'd do that in this. Right? You see the logic? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah obviously. I so, do. So Willem Dafoe, the 17-year-old high school chuff <laughs> in a band. <laughs> Sing spiders. Yeah. He's singing spiders. He's just sat at the end of the bed in his box of briefs. Oh. <laughs> you just see his bacon flesh. <laughs> And, and he's just, oh, I Carly. That's the name of his girlfriend. <laughs> oh, I Carly. <laughs> I can sing spiders. <laughs> this is an emotional moment. <laughs> this is a, a quiet, <laughs> serious, uh, potentially changing the direction of his life moment where he gets intimate and, and, and gets real. Yeah, he's his, getting real. His girlfriend. Yeah. Sure. I Carly, I can sing spiders. <laughs> I've got eight-legged vocal cords. <laughs> she knows this already. There were there are hugely popular band. He's already projected <laughs> spiders on thousands of people. I mean, the concerts are not short. It's just not one song. It's like probably forty-five minutes of him just going Aah! and spiders. <laughs> so everyone's been talking about it, the worldwide. <laughs> you know, and people in Japan are are, are freaking out and terrified. <laughs> well, sure. So he doesn't have to say to iCarly. Guess what? <laughs> I've got a new problem I need to share with you. <laughs> Audience is all forgetful. Okay, you're right. All right. Sorry. I've got eight legged vocal cords and there's nothing I can do. But i got to use my gift for good. And then she says, I know you will do it, Willem Dafoe's character. <laughs> I couldn't think of a name. That's fine. He's playing himself. It's good. You will work it out. Now let us make a love. Oh no! And then he starts kissing. <laughs> he starts kissing iCarly, oh. um, in slow motion, yeah. while emotional music comes up. Something like I don't know. Might be, might be from Terminator. There might be scenes of slow motion of Willem Dafoe on top of iCarly, just going. <laughs> Okay. Is he singing to her? Well, no, just... no, he's just making love. Noise. Oh, good, Fuse. Just, that would be just... gross. <laughs> and then there's a, you know, there might be a shot of their hands together, clutching the bed sheets in slow motion. Uh, his <laughs> wrinkly, veiny hands. His oh. wrinkly, vaguely veiny hands, and her, I, I, I want to say, tiny uh, porcelain hands. Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> and then he finishes. Just, oh. Oh fuck! Like that, <laughs> and then <laughs> that's the worst. And then he falls back, sweaty, uh, a vein in the top of his head, just very prominent. Mm. And then she just sort of plays with his erect nipple <laughs> and says, "Sing me a song like you did in the olden days." And then he looks at her and just goes, <laughs> and and just like just a fat. It's about the it's about the size of a cat. Uh, Black Widow just crawls out. Oh, that's and, terrifying! And then, and then it, it <laughs> and it's got it's it's, it's bleeding. It's, oh. it's bleeding Black Widow, and then it crawls in her mouth. Oh, uh, and she swallows it just uh, like that, and you see the legs just sort of skittering into her mouth. Uh, I bet you can see like a bulge in her neck too. Oh, yeah, she going. she eats it the way a snake would eat an egg. <laughs> she doesn't chew in one piece. We have to use obviously CGI. The neck expands like that, and then at the bottom of the screen, the word "metaphor" flashes, so that you know it is a metaphor for love. A black widow spider, which is poisonous at, at small sizes. This a one bleeding, a, a cat-sized, 
bleeding. <laughs> it's covered in weeping sores. Um, and it crawls in. Oh. And then she says, I love you. And then he says, spiders. <laughs> and then the credits roll, and that's the end of the movie. That's the, you don't find out how he uses his power for good? Uh, you don't find out how the, he uses his powers for good. Um, I will admit that. Uh, I will also cop to the fact that you never get a resolution for the Battle of the Bands, mm. nor, yep. nor the subplot in which uh, Steve Buscemi finds out that he's now got an octopus for a penis. <laughs> that, that plot is just kind of introduced halfway through the film in one scene, and then it's never mentioned again. How would Steve Buscemi uh, let us know? How would that scene play? Um, he will be um, in the toilet mm -hmm. at the high school. He goes up to the urinal, unzips, pulls his penis out. We don't see it. We're tasteful. Um, mm. We hear the tinkle tinkle. And then he just looks up and says, Ha ha, Fargo was a good film. <laughs> um, Functioning his, octopus penis. Puts his penis back in his jeans, zips up. Washes his hands, because we're, we're hygiene conscious. Sure. And then he just says, wait a minute, my penis was an octopus. <laughs> and then we cut back to Willem Dafoe having sex with um, Icarly. That happens halfway through the sex scene. <laughs> and the sex scene, um, obviously, oh, God, I want to say it lasts about 45 minutes. Oh, wow. Ooh. With the, the Terminator tune on loop. <laughs> That'd be a rough watch. It's cut on loop. Like, it, it half fades out and then suddenly starts up again because, obviously, I ripped the sound file from YouTube. <laughs> so you made the movie, too. Uh, I'm, I'm attached as the sound director for this one. I see. That's the only role you'd be cut out for. Yeah. Not the writer. I'm there to make the noises for the <laughs> spiders. Um, a bit like Frank Welker. You know, I make spider noises, like... Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> Yeah, those dog barking spiders. Yeah, uh, there's a dog spider, I think. Yeah, Ugh, brown spiders coming out of a man's mouth, going on people's faces. It's real nightmare stuff, Jim. It's a real terrifying. That's, that's really not my intention. It's supposed to be a, a superhero yeah. origin film, like the dark, <laughs> like the Dark Knight Rises with romance. It uh, it comes off like a uh, sure to be. A hit horror horror just terror not even horror just sheer nausea terror inducing it would be she real trouble to watch yeah that having sheer nausea terror inducing would uh wouldn't look good on the poster <laughs> um although i assume that podtoid regular listener sir toby yes. will use that as the quote on he, the inevitable poster i hope he makes he may yeah, that's a challenge i don't know if he'll He's, he's pretty busy lately. I sing a uh, song of spiders. <laughs> and it's not... Uh, you know, I guess it is of spiders. It's made of spiders. Song. Yeah, the song The song is spiders. Mm. What would That's the tagline. What would you do if your song was spiders? <laughs> <laughs> no one has ever wondered that before. <laughs> no one has ever been like, huh, you know, hypothetically speaking, <laughs> what if my song made of spiders no oh, that would be a challenge i have to do something good with it well it would be i mean it's not one of those things you instantly think of but then when you hear about it surely the thought will cross your mind well damn what would i do in that situation i would just never sing it's that simple <laughs> just okay no well, more singing i guess but cause... then if you if you don't sing danny devito and the evil band will win the battle of the bands they're probably going to win anyway, because when I sing, <laughs> people get bit by spiders instead of listening to music. That's what happens. So. But, but, but Jonathan, they got bat-shaped guitars. You're going to let them get away with that. <laughs> I'd just play drums. I'd get Medea on vocals or something, and I'd, you know, take up, take up the skins. Fair enough. <laughs>